Now let's prepare the switch. This is a double pull, double throw switch. I've gone ahead and removed all the screws. Uh, I got one more to do. I uh, will take that out. They're just gonna get in the way. It's easier to set this up without them. I'm just gonna solder every all the wires. First thing we need to do is, in order to get a double pull, double throw switch to reverse per polarity when you switch it, I need to put a bridge wire between these two points and between these two points. For this, I've chosen blue wire. It doesn't matter, it can be any color. So let's speed that through there. And then, so we'll cut it to about right there. And strip it. Go and prepare another one. Okay, go ahead and feed those through. After I solder it, I'll go ahead and trim off the excess. Okay, so let's add a little bit of solder in there to hold those wires in place. Keeping in mind, I need to get one more wire in there so we don't want to cover up the holes. So now we have a switch that reverses polarity when you toggle it back and forth. I'm gonna go ahead and wire on the, solder on the remaining wires. Now, the placement of your wires is important uh, as far as the colors go um, in to the extent that you want it to be the same on all the switches that you, you prepare. So all across your layout, you just want to get used to using the same colors for the same positions, just so you know what is what. Um, on my layout, I have chosen to put black here. In fact, I think I'm going to wire it this way. Just so I can get the solder on there easier. yellow here. So I need to, I might have to, yeah, it'll go through. So I need to leave a little uh, room to put another wire through on the ends. And then on this side, green here. And then we'll go with uh, white here. So as far as wiring goes, this switch is all done. Uh, let me just clean it up a little bit. Take it off the helping hands for that. Uh, let's see. Try some rail nippers. That's basically all I have. Yeah, that works. So this is done. Um, I don't need this on and off plate, so I'll take that off. Put that in a box somewhere where I may need it for something else. But uh, so now we have our 
we got our uh, tortoise switch prepared and we've got our toggle switch prepared. Here is my panel and the switch that I'm gonna put for this turnout is gonna go right here and the indicator light is gonna go right there on the back side. I've already got one, I already wired up. This is my tap, the 12 volt DC bus that I've already tapped into. Uh, I am gonna piggyback off of this and just uh, have two switches connected to the same tap. Um, so uh, I'll remove this heat shrink and start wiring it up. I've got my switch. I thought it was gonna go right here. I should go ahead and mount it. So it's gonna go right here. So I'll just cut this out with a X-Acto knife. It's just paper. Paper underneath a piece of plexiglass. And then I'm gonna need my indicator light as well. For the uh, switch, I'm gonna need to take both of these nuts off. So when I wired these switches together, I took notice of what uh, side I was wiring, making sure that uh, my uh, wording on the left says 12, uh, 20 amps and on the other side, 15 amp. And then uh, I was able to position so that the wires, my green wire is the lower left, green wire is the lower left over there. Uh, so this is how I need to put this in. Okay. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of chiseling. Um, this wasn't really the best way to uh, make this panel. It would have been nicer if I had just I had a small aluminum sheet, but uh, this is what I ended up with. So I'm gonna take a chisel and I'm gonna cut this back a little bit. I'll do that off camera. All right, I've got that through. And put that on. So there we go, got my switch mounted. So let's wire it up. As I had said before, uh, I was gonna uh, kind of piggyback the uh, other switch off the existing 12 volt tap for my uh, DC, uh, 12 volt DC bus. Um, I have already hooked, I've already spliced together the green wires to the black, uh, the green wires are connecting to the switch. Okay, now let's uh, prepare my red wire off the tap. I'll cut that back a little further. And uh, for the red wire, we were connecting to the yellow wires on the switch. Let's put those three wires together and splice them. And solder them. Also going to take, put a little bit of heat shrink on there. Now remember, you don't want to put these uh, heat shrink tubes on when the solder is still hot uh, because it's going to shrink while you're putting it on and you won't be able to get it on right. Next, we need to splice our black and our white wires. Now the black and the white wires, if you remember, are the ones that come uh, that come from the tortoise switch. They're on the far end leads of the tortoise switch. And that is what we're looking up right now. A little solder on there. Slide our uh, heat shrink over it. But at this point, that switch should control that tortoise switch. So I'm going to power it on, switch on the 12 volt power. When I flip it, it should switch. And it did. Let's watch that close up. Okay, I'm using the switch that's mounted onto my panel. Um, the other direction, and it uh, seems to work. Okay, 
So now let's hook up the um, indicator light. 